weight loss or yeah. uh, depression or um, lung dysfunction, shortness of breath, exercise intolerance, heart disease. And it's not everybody, but there's a subset of people that get it. And uh, this is why this is not a disease to mess around with. And we're, unfortunately, we're hearing about pretty high rates of vaccine hesitancy in certain groups, especially the African American communities. And uh, don't mess with this virus. If you can get the vaccine, take it. Take it. Yeah, yeah. That is that is the core message here. I really wanted to. I've been. My staff said you only have thirty minutes, and you know, I I ran through like ninety miles per hour You're through good. my question. You're good. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, uh... Actually, doctor, I I have so many chit chats, you know, in between. I I do with who those who I I you know do the Zoom interview and all. This time, I know that you have only have limited time. I still I think have one minute left. Uh, so, so I, I just wanted to let you know that I am, I am very, very appreciative uh, of your taking a few minutes of your time. And, and, uh, you know, Fort Bend County is, used to be a small county and, you know, 52,000 people in the 1970 census. Now we have uh, the new census. We haven't gotten it yet. We're looking at around 850,000 people wow. after, after 50 years later. And we're going to have a million people next couple of years. And another challenge we face is close to one third of our population is not born in this country. We are one of the most diverse in the country. And there's a lot of immigrants and the people who are not used to the system here live here. And that is sometimes- Well, well I know this for a fact because we get some of our best takeout in, uh, uh, in Fort Bend <laughs> County. So. And I hope, I hope once this COVID and everything is over, maybe we could get together for a cup of coffee or something. And I know that you are, meantime, you are going to be very busy. And then you are maybe le not learning, you are experiencing the fact that when somewhere in the world, it is daytime, all the time, right? 24 seven. So you might be calling people in Japan or, you know, Australia, so it doesn't matter. It may be middle of the night here. So, but I just wanted to say one more thing I will conclude here and saying that, you know, one thing, I'm not a doctor, but last um, 11 months, I worked very closely with our um, medical community and, you know, our health and human services department. And I tell you, uh, I really, really, bottom of my heart, I appreciate you guys and I appreciate what you do and you know when you talk about war we think about people going in and shooting and taking the tank and you know or the or the airplane and bombing but you were uh, you are even today you are at war and you know you are the soldiers and fighting in the front and i hear numerous stories of uh, doctors uh, losing their life nurses losing their life fighting yeah no it's been it's been awful and that I just want to congratulate you for your leadership during this terrible period. I, I mean, I can't think of a worse time in the modern history of our country to be an elected leader uh, trying to figure your way out through this yeah. thing. And you've yeah. done a great job and uh, credit to our state. And uh, and you've got the hardest job in the world right now. Yeah. And I just, yeah. thank, but doctor, you, you know, one thing, great work. Yeah, I am a better person today than 11 months ago because I learned so much about human behavior, human, you know, people, people kindness and good and bad and ugly. Everything came out of people, you know, during this time. And, but um, right. you guys yeah. are putting everything, everything. And I, I really appreciate our medical community. And I'm so thankful I live in this country because I lived in India also, um, you know, until maybe 20 plus years of my uh, life. Uh, years of my age, uh, you know, like my lifetime. Uh, so I lived there. So I'm so thankful. I am so thankful people like you out there every day dedicating your life to make our country better, our community, our region better. And with that, uh, I just wanted to say this is an honor, uh, absolutely an honor to have uh, Dr. Um, Peter Hotes. Uh, here with us, and I know that he is a very busy person. And but he was uh, he uh, 
kind enough to uh, spend 30 minutes, 30, maybe 32 minutes now. Uh, but I look forward to maybe sometime, you know, having maybe even another 30 minutes so that I know that whatever you explained is uh, so much beneficial to our uh, viewers and our, our community, our citizens. And, and, and I'm so thankful uh, I am here and I'm, I can learn from people like you. And so, Dr. Thank you. Thank you for all you do. And, and God bless you and keep thank you. Thank you. And God bless you and your family. And, uh, and thank you again for your leadership. Sure. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye-bye.